Hi guys, welcome to Loud to Code. So in this video, we are going to see C programming questions which was asked in Zoho Corporation. This is a part two video. Let's begin. So in this whole video, we are going to predict the output of a given question. So let's discuss this question. So there is a do while loop, and uh, we have initializing an integer variable i to the value one. And since it is a do while loop, this uh, statements will execute at least once, and then it will check for a while condition. If this while condition is true, again this statements will execute unless and until the while condition is false. This statements will continue to execute. Let's predict this output. So we can see that i is initially one. So first it will print i. And then, uh, since there is slash n, the cursor will move to a next line. After that, we are trying to post increment i. So now, i after executing the this line of code, i will become two. And this in if condition, we are checking whether i is less than fifteen. Uh, here, i value is two, so i is less than fifteen. This will return us true. And in if condition, it is true, so we'll go inside if condition. Here we encounter a continuous statement. So what happens is whenever a compiler encounters a continuous statement inside a loop, uh, here we are using a while loop. So it moves its control to its loop and checks the condition inside loop. So here in while loop, uh, do while loop, the condition is false. Since the condition is false, it comes out of a loop. So uh, I expected output is one. So the explanation remains same that is a continuous statement within body of a loop will stop the execution of the code and continues to restart it again. So let's discuss a second question. So this question also is similar to previous one here integer i is initialized to one. This is also do while loop. So the difference between previous and this question is here we are using break statement so same thing happens here it will try to print one and the cursor will come to next line so after that i is incremented post incremented so when i is incremented i becomes two and since i is less than 15 and that is two is less than 15 it will go inside if condition and when it goes inside if condition we encounter a break statement so whenever a compiler encounters a break statement it stops the execution of a loop and it comes out of a loop so i expected output is same as a previous one that is one so the explanation is whenever a break statement within a body of a loop is found it will stop the execution of the code and comes out of the loop so let's move to another question so this question is based on pre increment and post increment operators initially here also we are using do while let's see what will be the final value of val so initially the val is initialized to one and since we are using do while loop at least once this statements will get executed so what happens when we use post increment operator so when we use post increment operator the value val will increment after the execution of this line so at present at this line the value will be one only so when it executes this line and comes to next line the value will become two and for pre increment operator before executing this line of code i value will be incremented so what actually happens is so uh, here the i value is 2 and since it is pre increment operator before executing this line of code uh, the value also increases uh, sorry i said i before that is not i that is val so now val becomes 3 so after executing these two lines of code it will go to while and inside while it will check for a condition here also we are given that uh, val uh, is post incremented and so finally here the value after executing this command it becomes 4 and since 
4 is uh, not greater than 25 this becomes false and will come out of a loop so our expected output will be 4 and the explanation is a uh, pre increment operator is used to increment the value of a variable before using it in an expression and post increment increments the value after using the value in an expression that is here if uh, val is 1 it will be 1 only in throughout this expression after executing this expression it becomes 2 so let's move to a, another question so this is a simple question where they have initialized a to 1 b to 2 and c to 3 and d is initialized to 0 so in if condition what happens is uh, it will check whether a is greater than 0 or not if a is greater than 0 it will check for uh, b whether b is greater than 0 or not since b is greater than 0 it will check for c c is also greater than 0 uh, so it is true so again it will check for d since uh, d is uh, equal to 0 this statement becomes false and this line of it doesn't enter inside if condition it comes out so the expected output here is not entered uh, so suppose what if uh, d is 1 so if d was 1 so we would have got the output like entered enter in the if and then not entered in a next line so the explanation here is here all values a b c are greater than 0 and since d is 0 condition inside if fails so let's move to another question 5 so in this question it is a simple question and we can see there is an if condition and also we can see that this statement is false that is 0 so here we can see that it terminates the if condition in this line itself this line will terminate the if condition here only so it doesn't affect these two other statements below these two statements so I expected output will be hello and hi I will be printed in a next line so let's move to another question so this question is like we are declaring I and j as interior variables and j is assigned to 3 and there is a float k that is 7 so i is equals to k modulus j and after that we are trying to print i so the expected output here is compilation error since uh, modulus cannot be applied for a float so let's move to another question this is the seventh question sorry for mentioning as six let's make it seven so here initially i int a is declared and then int b is declared as well as assigned to phi so now a is equals to zero and there is a logical and operator and there is a pre-decrement uh, operator to b so what actually happens and what will be the value of a and b so whenever uh, in an and condition if any one condition is false then it will return false so here we have encountered a false condition so it will not check for other conditions after this since any one is false so it will return false now we have encountered this false it is not necessary to execute the remaining line of code so this will return false so false will be 0 so I expected output will be a will be 0 and b will be 5 this line this will not statement will not get executed since we found a 0 if I before we found a 0 that and in and at least one condition should be false since it will return false since we found here false so it will return false without checking other conditions so I expected output will be 0 and 5 so the explanation is like here and operator is used if any value is false it returns false if it finds false value it will not check other values okay thank you for watching this video please like subscribe and share i will post more videos 
on Zoho Corporation C programming interview. Thank you.